good morning students i hope you are all well and safe okay so today we are going to learn a new language we are going to learn french okay so vous allez apprendre le français okay so french is a beautiful language that you can easily learn okay so i'm going to teach you french so what is french it's a language that we are speaking in a foreign country and here also in pondicherry or in mahave karyakram we have union territories okay union territories where we can speak and hear french language okay so it's very easy you can easily learn french because we have all the letters in english okay so the alphabets will be same as we have in english okay so we are going to learn the alphabets the weekdays month of the year and some greetings how to greet someone in french i hope you are all very happy to learn this language it is a most beautiful language in the world okay so we are going to start with the alphabet okay so on va commencer avec l'alphabet so in each every language we are going to start with the alphabet of that language okay so on va commencer l'alphabet so that is l'alphabet okay so i'm going to read the alphabet we have the same 26 letters okay as we have in english okay so i'm going to read for you in english okay and we are going to have the pronunciation of these letters in french okay so we have the 26 letters so i'm going to give you the pronunciation of the alphabet in french okay so a b c see here i written for you the pronunciation it's up to you to write what you have here okay so i wrote a for in tamil or if you know in hindi you can write the pronunciation a in hindi okay that is for your reference okay a b c d e f j h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z okay so you can see w x so you have the pronunciation in the english okay x w d k s x y okay and z okay so a so i wrote in tamil a or you can write with your hindi pronunciation also a a b c c repeat after me when you are learning the language you have to repeat okay we have to have a reading okay also a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z so that's all for the alphabet in french if someone will ask you do you know french okay so first they will ask you to tell the alphabet in french okay so you have to be thorough with the french alphabet okay so i hope you understood the pronunciation of the french alphabet so maintenant now we are going to go les jours de la semaine we are going to learn the big days because in our daily life when we are going to start a class work we are going to write a date in french okay so the day day plus the month of the year okay so we are going to learn that also so lundi so we have the day day in english so here we have the french day lundi 
So, repete, repete means repeat. Okay, so when I am going to say repete, you are going to repeat after me. Landi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. On va répéter, can you repeat again? Yes. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Okay, so you can write in the side also for your pronunciation in Hindi or in Tamil. Okay, so lundi. Okay, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. So we have the seven days of the week. Okay, so now we are going to learn les mois de l'année. Les mois de l'année, the month of the year. Okay, so janvier, January, February, you have the 12 months. So janvier, janvier, février, février, mars, mars, avril. Avril, May, May, Juin, Juin, Juillet, Juillet, Août, Août, Septembre, Septembre, Octobre, Octobre, Novembre, Novembre, and Décembre. Décembre. So for this four months, we are just going to invest the ER and for in French, we are going to write RP. So septembre, octobre, novembre, décembre. So do you identify one thing here for février and décembre? So I have added an accent on the E that is to make the pronunciation A. So we are going to learn slowly the accent. What are the accent? We have accent aigu to make the sound A. We have accent ga. Okay, so we are going to learn step by step what are the accent and which letters we are going to put the accent. Okay, so that is to make the sound A. Accent aigu. Okay, so I hope you understood the 12 months of the year and the weekdays. Okay, so at home you are going to repeat again after each and every verb. Okay, so now we are going to move to the salutation. Okay, so these are the greetings, the main and principal greetings that we are using in our daily life. Okay, so can we go? Okay, so I am going to read for you in French, then you have the English meaning. By side. Okay? So we are going to write, read and learn the words given here for greeting someone. Bonjour. Bon après-midi. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Salut. Merci. Bonne chance. Félicitations. Enchanté. A bientôt, à demain, au revoir, bonne journée, s'il vous plaît, je vous en prie. Ok, so can we repeat again? Yes, are you ready? Yes. Bonjour, bonjour, bon après-midi. So we have a bubble here. So we have to say bon après midi. We are going to link the N and the A. Okay, so we are going to say bon après midi. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Salut. Merci. Bonne chance. Félicitations. Enchanté. À bientôt. À demain. Au revoir, bonne journée, s'il vous plaît, je vous en prie. Ok, so, bonjour means good morning or hello, when we are seeing someone in the new on the day. Ok, we are saying hello or bonjour. 
Okay, good morning. Bon après-midi means good afternoon. Bonsoir, good evening. Bonne nuit, good night. Salut, hi. So, salut is used between friends. Okay, hi. Merci, thank you. Bonne chance, good luck, or all the best. Okay? Félicitations, congratulations. Enchanté, nice to meet you. A bientôt, see you soon. A demain, see you tomorrow. Au revoir, goodbye. Bonne journée, have a nice day. S'il vous plaît, please. Je vous en prie, you are welcome. Okay, so these are the most used greetings with someone. Okay, so these are the basic greetings words that we are using in our daily life. Okay, so I hope you like the French language and it will be very easy for you to learn French and to achieve your studies also in French in your future life. Okay, I hope you like this language and I am very happy to have you in this class. Okay, you are going to learn a new language. French is a most beautiful language and you are going to learn this with me. I am very happy to have you. Aujourd'hui, nous allons voir les articles, les bases des articles définis, indéfinis. So, today we are going to see the basic articles. Article defini, define articles and indefined articles. So for each noun we have to place an article before a noun. Okay, so here you have defined articles. So defined articles is le, la, les, l apostrophe. So l apostrophe. So le, la, les, l apostrophe. It defines the in English. For example, we have masculine. For le, la, féminin, plural, we are going to use le. And if you have bubble nouns, so a noun started with a bubble. So for started with a bubble, we are going, if it is masculine or feminine. No worries with, if it is masculine or feminine. For that we are going to put an apostrophe. And here, for article and a feminine. Les articles and defini, which is not defined. So for that we have un, une, des. So un, it is for masculine noun, une for feminine noun, des for plural noun. And it is the meaning of un, une, des in English is a for common thing. And I gave you some example over there. So to differentiate which article we are going to put. So we have to know whether the noun is feminine or masculine or if it is a belonging to someone or it's a common thing. So belonging to someone we are going to put article defini. If it is a common thing we are going to use article and defini. So here I am given some example. So le chien. So le chien is a masculine noun. So as I told you each noun has a gender, masculine or feminine. Anything can be masculine or feminine in French. It is used in French. So, le chien is a masculine noun. So, I will give you the meaning of the dog. So, le chien de Manuel. So, the dog of Manuel. So, le, it is the dog of Manuel. So, un chien, it's a dog. And chien. If you see a dog on the road, it's a dog. That's it. So, la porte. La porte, it's a door. The door. If you have a door in your classroom. So, this is la porte. It's a common thing. Une porte. So, porte is a feminine noun. So, we have to know for each lesson you have a vocabulary words list. We have the French meaning along with the English meaning in the book. So you have to buy the book soon so that you will be able to understand what are the meaning of these words. So la porte, une porte. Now, les stylo. We already saw these words in your first book. 
So previous year you have saw this basic word. Play stilo. Play stilo. So stilo means pens. So if you have one pen, it's as stilo. It is match play. So if you have lay stilo, it is plural. So first you have to know whether the noun is masculine or plural feminine. Next, lecon. Lecon. Why I put L apostrophe here? Because it started with a vowel. So each noun started with a vowel, whether it is masculine or feminine, we are going to put L apostrophe. So here, econ, unicorn. I know that it is masculine. So I'm going to put in. And I give another example for masculine noun started with a vowel. So la. La means the tree. La means the tree. It started with the A. So here also you have a vowel. So how I will find if it is a masculine or a feminine noun? You have to go to our vocabulary words list. So that you will be differentiate which noun are masculine, which noun are feminine. So for that, I will find out it is a masculine noun. So for that, we are going to put a noun, a tree. If you find a tree over there, you will tell a noun. Okay? So for each noun, we have a nautical placed before a noun. That is article defini and article and defini. That is for today. I am going to give you some words and you are going to find out which are the articles which are going to place before these nouns. I am going to give you as a homework. So you are going to fill up this as a filler and then I am going to give you a topic. Please find out the articles. And if I am giving you article defini, you are going to write only the article defini. If I am going to give you article and defini, you are going to fill up with the article and defini and you are going to find out the word if it is masculine, feminine and for plural you don't have to find out the articles because we already have a S for each plural noun. So you don't worry about this. These two we won't have to worry about this. These two only we are going to find if it is masculine or feminine. So I am going to give you some exercise and you are going to go through this exercise along with the lesson that I taught you. Thank you. Bonjour. Aujourd'hui nous allons voir les verbes du premier groupe. Les verbes qui se terminent en E-R. So, les verbes du premier groupe se terminent en ER. So, pour ça, pour conjuguer un verbe du premier groupe, tout d'abord, nous allons voir les pronoms sujets. Qu'est-ce qu'un pronom sujet? So, to conjugate the verb for the first group verb. For all the first group verb end with a ER. So, for the, to conjugate the verb for the first group, first we have to know the subject pronoun. What are the subject pronouns that we are going to use for each verb? So, je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. So, I have given the English translation for each pronoun subject. So, je, why I put J apostrophe here? It is because, for example, we have bubble. A verb started with a vowel. So for that we are going to put J apostrophe. So je cannot be placed before a vowel. So I have written je and J apostrophe together. So je means I. Tu, you. I, he, and she. Nous, we, vous, you. I, and Commonly, we have to say they for masculine plural and feminine plural. And here you have two you. So it is used, this you for between friends. This is used between friends. And this is for elder one. 
This is used for elder one. So this use we can use form informally and this is informal for me. Sorry. So now we are going to see the verb conjugation. So and where qui n'est pas conjugué ne s'appelle infinitif. Un verbe qui n'est pas conjugué s'appelle infinitif. Un verbe qui n'est pas conjugué s'appelle infinitif. Infinitif. So I have written the infinitif verb here. If you are going to cut the er, the ending of the first group verb. So we are going to cut the er, the part of this verb. It is called le radical. So the half part of this verb it is called le radical. So la terminaison des verbes du premier groupe, the endings of the verb of the first group verb. So here I written ia group verb ending. So these endings are commonly used for this. For each subject you have to put a ending. So e for here, es for tu, e for e. E for N, O N S for Nu, E Z for Vu, E N T, E N T for E plural and plural. So here I have given you one example of normal verb which is called the verb parler. Parler is to speak or to talk. Okay. So I have given the subject pronoun this side. In front of each verb, you have a subject pronoun. So I have written pa. You can see here. I make I made a difference between the verb and the endings. So je pa. I speak. So at the end of this, you are going to add the ending of each subject. Okay. So je pa, tu pa, il pa, elle pa. Nous parlons, vous parlez, il parle, elle parle. So it is a conjugation of the first group verb. And here another example I have given with a verb starting with a vowel. So as I told you, je become j apostrophe before a vowel. So here I have written j apostrophe because here you have a vowel. It is only for je, not for the other subject. So je apostrophe because je apostrophe jen. I like tu am, il am, elle am, nous aimons, vous aimez, il am, elle am. So you can see the difference between these two verbs. So here you have je and here you have j apostrophe before a vowel. So that is for the first group verb. E R group verb. This is the how to conjugate a first group verb. So I'm going to give you some homework with these verbs. I'm going to give you few new verbs. So you have to write the verbs conjugation according to the lesson that I taught you. Thank you. So I have given you today's assignment as per your class work. Okay. So you are going to take your 80 pages note, ruled note. You are going to start with the class work that I taught you. First the articles, about the articles. So you are going to write the first the class work and then you are going to do this exercise. According to the classwork. So here I, I told you. Start your assignment with the classwork along with the topic on the top. And continue to write your assignment. That I give you. Okay. So for this, this is for the articles. So first you are going to write your classwork. Then you are going to start this assignment. And then for the second part, you are going to take the class that I taught you for the ER group verb in present tense. So the verb ending with ER. So you are going to take that video, that class and write your class work and then you are going to conjugate this four verb as I told you. I give you two examples. 
So as they do examples, you are going to start this four words. So don't forget to buy your AD2 pages rolled note in your school. So so that you will be able to follow the classes. Thank you.